Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com, and in this video, uh, I got some screen sharing going on here, and want to call this maybe what to look out for before buying a bug 2021. Uh, it's May of 2021, and um, yeah, I'm here to show you a couple tips and tricks that you should look out for before buying a bug. And before I get going here, I just want to say that you know I got a great feed, I got great feedback last week with my vlog with getting youth into the uh, VW hobby. Uh, but some people uh, were saying, hey, you know, uh, it, it's great that you're saying this, but the youth, uh, it's it's getting pricey now for the youth to get uh, VWs. Uh, we're getting priced out. The smaller guys getting priced out. And to some degree, I do agree with that. Uh, and I've mentioned this before on my channel, that prices for, for Beatles has gone up exponentially uh, within the last couple of years. Uh, and it's it's really something to see you know, when you when you see a couple of bugs that are online, a couple of bugs, a lot of bugs for that matter, you know, on, whether it's on Craigslist or Facebook or eBay, um, you know, something that would have been under well under 10 grand just two, three years ago is now into the mid teens, the high teens, even at the twenty thousand dollar range uh, for some basic bugs too. you know, nothing fancy, nothing special, um, you know, kind of bugs that are, you know, maybe Yukon yellow with a black interior and you know, um, no bells or whistles, no accessories or anything like that. And they're in the mid teens to high teens, sometimes more. And something like that would have been, you know, definitely a, a lot lower just a few years ago. Now, the trend is basically what most uh, uh, sellers do when they list a, their vehicle on, on the internet is they're just seeing what everybody else is going for and they compare and contrast their car to theirs and say, okay, I have the same car, mine's a little bit better, so I'm gonna price mine a little bit higher. And I always get the argument that, hey, Chris, you know, like just I, I see what those other cars are going for. and I know my car is better. And you don't know what those cars are going for. People can ask all they want. Um, so I'm, I'm going to show you some tips, you know, what you guys could do to look out for, you know, before buying a bug. Now, you guys know I have a, a whole series on what to look out for when you're actually in physical person and you're in uh, in person with the bug uh, that you want to buy. Maybe you found an ad in a local um online or got a bit of classified ad in the newspaper anymore. I don't think many people do that anymore, but um, most of the searching that people do to find a beetle nowadays is online. And a lot of the buying is also cross state lines and you are not going to see the car in person. So you are seeing the car just through pictures on the internet. Now, if you want uh, some tips here, I'm gonna show you if you cannot go see your car in person, I'm going to show you a couple of things to look out for. And I've gone through this before in the past, but if you want to see my other videos, I have a whole series on what to look out for before buying a bug and when you're actually in person with the car. But this is just uh, basically, you know, internet browsing, that kind of thing. And I'm going to show you, uh, you know, a few of the trends here that's uh, what, of what's going on. Now, keep in mind, I'm going to show you some ads that are on eBay, um, not eBay, Craigslist, Facebook, uh, the Samba. Now, I just want to get this out in, in the beginning. I don't know these sellers. I'm not here to bash anybody. Um, I'm just trying to point out some discrepancies, you know, things that you as a buyer got to look out for. And as a seller, you know, um, I'm not here to, you know, uh, put down your ad in any means, in any way. I'm just trying to educate my audience. And, you know, so just keep that in mind and, and maybe take even some of my advice, you know, uh, as constructive criticism to maybe so you can make your ad a little bit better, maybe do a little more homework. I think for the most part, everybody here who's put up an ad has got, you know, they're, they're in the right mindset. You know, everyone's everyone's, a, you know, a proud owner of this beetle and uh, they, they had their time with it. They're looking to move on um, and they mean well. Uh, so I don't think anybody's really here uh, to screw anybody over. Uh, but, you know, we all get into the sense sometimes when we we're going to sell something that we do sometimes all put the dealer cap on and use the proper wording and terminology that sells. Um, I'm not going to say, you know, to an extent that, you know, it's clickbait, but headlines, uh, you know, try to sell. I mean, so one of my examples, what I'll show you is, is that, you know, so many beetles across the internet that are for sale use the same wording and 
I'll tell you, I'll show you in a second what the wording is. And if these cars were so rare, <laughs> there's so many quote unquote original Beatles, all original barn find Beatles out there for sale. And they use these words like it's candy. If it's amazing how many original, all original barn find Beatles there are for sale on the internet. They're supposed to be the rare breed, but yet they're all over the place. <laughs> so if you get my drift now, I even see it on YouTube. There's a, there's a lot of VW channels now that are on YouTube um, that are saying they're going to find a quote unquote barn find beetle. And a lot of these VW uh, channels will also show in their headline, will it start? This will it start statement is a very grabbing statement and they use it a lot to bring in views somewhat of clickbait right so but i'm not saying they're trying to do that you know it's, it's not a bad thing so to speak but you just got to be mindful of yourself when you're looking at some of these things uh, i mean i'll go to some of those videos where they say it's a barn find you get into the, they're in the travels to go find the car and then when they get to the car uh you know it was in some guy's garage maybe last year garage is kind of clean car had a paint job maybe a few years ago customized chromed out engine maybe it's lowered and the guy say well you know i parked it last year i hasn't run since the last time i parked it which was last year that that's not a barn find you know what are we talking about you know so uh, all i'm trying to say is is that there's words that are thrown out there to to bring you in so to speak it's an advertising sense so now that i got that off my chest i just want <laughs> Uh, just keep in mind, this is this is for educational purposes. But so I'm on Craigslist here and you see some of my tabs that I got up here. And let's go to this 66 bug. Now, guys, these are all public video uh, ads. I'm not here to, you know, um, uh, just like I said, I'm not I, I don't know these people. Uh, they are public. So you can see these uh, cars now. So, for instance, here's a 66. 13.5. Okay, not bad. That's pretty good range. Um, you know, I would say for 67 and earlier, that's a pretty good buy, just sort of speak, just from some of these pictures. And some of the pointers I'll point out here, even for sellers here, stop shooting vertical. Um, I know people are shooting with their phones and maybe they're only viewing on their phones, but you know, we want to see wide pictures. A wide shot is going to be much better presentation for your car. So just keep that in mind. Um, it's, it's only going to help you in the long run. So again, people are doing screen grabs instead of an actual picture here. So try to, you know, improve upon this. Do not do the screen grab, say, with your iPhone or something, and you're showing this detail here, you know, especially when you're in this kind of a price range. If you have a project car that's a couple grand or something, I understand. That's fine. It's a project. But when you're trying to showcase a car. So as we move on. Um, pictures are decent here, you know, um, this looks like a pretty clean car. Again, another screen grab. Now his ad did state 66 VW bug, 1300 engine. Okay. That's good. 1300 engine is the, uh, correct year engine for 66 new tires, new spare tire runs. Now here's the, the big key here. All original. Everybody says all original. Now it's just loosely thrown out there and all original is you got to watch when you say that, because I'll, I'll show you some examples in a second, but you know, when you mean all original to me, in my eyes, maybe not to you, that means the car is unmolested cars, never been, and has, has had uh, no sort of other restoration to it. No paint, no interior redo. You know, no engine rebuild, that sort of thing. It's it's a the the real survivor. Yes, I understand brakes and things like that. Safety features might have to be uh, improved to an extent. You know, and when you when you throw in an engine rebuild, there now it's not all original in my eyes, guys. You might have the original engine, which is fine. And then I'll you know I'll hear I'll see a lot of ads where they say, hey, it's, it's all original. Um, it's got, it's got, you know, uh, 60,000 original miles on it, but the engine was rebuilt about 2000 miles ago. 
So that is all debunked. That's gone. So if, whenever you see words like that, just keep that in mind. So he's saying all original, good condition, original roof rack, 44,000 miles. Now we don't know this. Um, sometimes they say 44,000 original miles. That could be 144,000 miles or 244,000 original miles. Okay. The VW speedometer clocks over, you know, after 100,000 miles, it goes back to zero. Unless there's documentation to prove this, it's very difficult to tell the original miles. Sometimes you can see a real car that's like that red 65 that I found, uh, you know, several years ago up in Wappingers Falls, New York, had 8,000 original miles. Now, when I sat in that car and I saw that car, I could tell, you know, but they did have paperwork to back everything up. So you need that. People can throw out miles all they want. And I had a guy try to sell me in New Jersey with a 60 or 61 Beetle telling me he had 60,000 original miles on it. And he was trying to pull the, the wool over my eyes. And until I grabbed that crank pulley in the engine compartment and push and pulled in and out, and I heard a massive clunk, that means it was tremendous bearing wear. And that was most likely an, an engine that's had, has been clocked over several, you know, a few times. So you got to just watch out. Now, when we're buying sight unseen here on the internet, you know, it's, it's tough to, to make that decision here when you're not there in person. So if you're skeptical, definitely send an inspector. So he's saying original car here, all original. Now I can point out a few things to you right now that, that will tell me this car is not all original. Number one, these door panels. Let me go back. These door panels right here. That is not original to 66. That pattern, this style, these were replacements. When you get to the seats, you see the seam on the top of the seat. That's aftermarket. 66, 65 to 67, this vinyl material should have been a wrap over, over the seat. And also 66 would have had smooth vinyl on the sides of the seat here, and you would have had that 12 inch stripe, that's a basket weave that goes over the seat. Headliner. One piece headliner we have here. It would have been a tuck around the back window with the headliner. Original headliner would have been that with a tuck around here, not a one piece from quarter window to back window with no tuck here. No sun visors. Maybe it's original paint, maybe it's not. We don't have enough photos to really tell. So that's just one example. It does have some faded paint on the side. So that does kind of show maybe it is a patina car and maybe some upgrades there. Now, some people think to them, all original means, all original metal, original pans, motor, and they kind of end it right there. So I take it a little bit further. Yeah, you know, when you say all original, it should be an all original thing. Um, when we start getting loose on those terms, now all of a sudden, almost all these cars are going to be all original. So let's move on. 65 here, really clean looking car. Um, definitely like the way this looks. And again, these 67 and earlier are, are falling in these, these price ranges here, mid teens to high teens. So again, I don't know this person. I'm not, I'm not here to, to um, you know, negate the ad or, 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 or put the car down in any way. I'm just here to educate. So he's saying here, all again, all original, six volt system, 65 Beetle, second owner, purchased from original owner. So that's really cool. Beetle originally from Napa. So hopefully he's got, you know, some paperwork here. It does say it comes with the original bill of sale. Very good. All stock, 51,000 original miles. Now, here's where we go again. All original. Again, all original to me, in my eyes, is un, unrestored. Few lines down, he states new paint, original color Panama beige. Okay, new interior, new carpet, new tires, new brakes, and more. So there's new in here. And we'll go through the pictures again. 
So it's got new paint. Looks like it's just an exterior paint job, not an interior paint job. So if you look inside here, see where the apron is here. It's kind of worn down. Exterior paint. Paint on the outside looks um, looks new. You know, a couple of things to point out there when it comes to that. So it looks like original headliner. See what I'm talking about with the tuck around the back window? That would have been an original headliner. It should have been the same way in a 66. So it's got new paint, like he said, on the outside. The seats, this would not have been a combination. Um, 465 looks good. It's brand new, brand new carpet. But I don't believe that would have been a combo. The engine looks uh, pretty original for sure, I would say. Just looks like it needs a cleaning. That's possibly a rebuild, maybe. So that's another example. Again, you know, with terminology, that's just kind of thrown out there, guys, uh, that you need to look out for. So 16.5, it seems to be like kind of the going rate with things like this, you know. Um, and so I think this was the same. This is another 66. 19.5 now so here's where we're seeing a very similar 66 like the last one um so for me you know if i was to sell this thing and I really want to showcase the car black shows everything and this car is a little dirty um yeah wash your car guys if you're a, if you're a seller wash your car and, and detail this to make it look the best it can be um, when you're asking, especially a price of 20 grand. So this has brand new interior. This is, you know, now getting closer to what it would have looked like originally. But again, there's a seam at the top of the seat. So again, that's the TMI kit. Uh, Wolfsburg West, I think, is one of the only few uh, sites that has the correct seat where it does wrap over. But this does look like a very clean restoration. F case, so 66 again, guys, F case, you need to see the letter F here. That is very good. That is correct. You want that? I don't know what this tube is. So I don't know, <laughs> something, to, something to ask. Um, but it looks like a very clean bug. And it is, and it's actually in New York, look at that. And um, yeah, um, so it, this looked like it was a very good, candidate you know that was you know nicely put together with good taste so but let's see here beautifully restored needs nothing but driver slightly negotiable don't make offers without being here in person <laughs> so you know we all know on the internet and um especially even with facebook now where people email and you know again they have no problem giving a lowball offer uh through the internet you know again when you're not face to face i've spoken about this before in the past the internet has made you know, uh, uh, people talk in ways that, you know, they would never talk, you know, if they were face to face with you. So this person's probably been uh, tired of dealing with tire kickers because, uh, you know, if you're on the Internet, we're, we're tire kicking, uh, tire kicking a lot because we can browse and shop very easily now and compare and contrast. So we're, we're constantly looking at ads, you know, that there's so many ads to look at and so many bugs, you know, so. Uh, I can see what it is, especially when it comes to buying a car in this price point, guys. If you can see the car in person, I would do it. If you cannot, I would say send an inspector. Um, here's a nice 67 that I came across, um, $9,000. Um, this looks like a survivor. Very cool. It's in Minnesota. So it looks like it's got this patina going on with it. And some people really like that. It gives a lot of character to the car. And it uh, looks like he's got another bug in here. So picture like this doesn't do anything for me. Um, I really can't. It doesn't represent the car. So, you know, I know sometimes we want to be artistic, <laughs> which is okay. I'm an artist myself. But when it comes to trying to sell the car, um, there's a good representation here. So good sunlight, guys. Natural light, wide shot. That's the way it should be. These vertical shots, uh, you know, I'm not for them too much. Um, shooting inside your garage with no light or terrible light is not a good idea. With all stuff around the car, you know, I've seen that. So looks like the carpet's been changed. But so 
this is a decent example. Vintag is good. Of course you want to see this, of, of course. And always ask for this. H case, which is good. This guy's got some, re, uh, some historical stuff, which is really nice. This is, this is gold to many people. Very cool. That you like. So moving on. Now here's a 67, another one um, that I'm going to point out to you some some things. And you know, again, price point not terrible. Uh, I, I, this is where I'm seeing them mostly, mid teens to high teens, depending again the condition of the car. So here we are. I'm not going to go through this whole ad here, but offering for sale our absolutely original, great driving survivor. That gets thrown out a lot too. Beetle sedan. This is a true original rolling time capsule from 1967, right down to the good original Lotus White factory paint. The Beetle has not been refurbished ever, unlike most of the Beetles offered for sale out there. If you can even find anyone, okay, blah, blah, blah. So again, he's saying 117,000 miles on it. Now, that would definitely want to check the end play and something like that. Um, so Absolutely no rust anywhere. We see that a lot too. And then I get the car in, I put it up on my lift and a lot of times we find rust. So one thing I, I just wanna look at, I wanna show you in this ad and it's blatantly in the pictures, which I wanna point out. He says, absolutely original paint. Can you guys spot anything on this? It's, it's right in the picture right here. Yes, this overspray of paint, this paint is here. So what does that tell you? I mean, the car has been painted before. Saying original seats, original unmolested. These door panels do look original. I'll give him that. That's good. Very good. All good. We want to see this. Excellent. Again, these vertical, very narrow pictures, I, I am not for that. The guys shoot wide. Why wouldn't we want to see the whole engine compartment? Front beam, pans look good. This does look like a dry car, so that's very good. Got some paperwork, which is good. Car looks good. I mean, it does look like a survivor for sure. I mean, it's definitely 67s or, or hot cars. So that's very good. But the other thing that I spotted, um, looks like it's got the right bumpers too with the slope on it. So that's very good. Very clean. You know, again, a patina car, you know, this is, you can, you can drive and enjoy this car the way it is. It's going to have its chips and stuff on it. But the seats, again, have been changed. You know, you can see the seam at the top. You can tell these seat covers, have, it's been ripped here. And, you know, these have been slid on. So they're either over the originals, possibly. Um, so, again, um, it just it comes down to, you know, when they say certain things, um, you know, a lot of times, too, you can, you can notice a paint. A paint job was done. If you look inside here where the, the, the front A pillar is, um, a lot of times you'll see paint change or paint line in here. And you can tell the difference from, in, uh, from outside to the inside. And you'll be able to see that maybe the car just had an exterior paint job at one point. Um, you know, the, the thing is when you see, you know, paint jobs like that the only thing i don't like too he's got a radio in here and it looks like a newer radio and i don't like that scares me because that means sometimes the dash was cut so if you i'm i i don't like dashes cut like that uh, but getting back to paint you know a lot of times when you see that paint line or you see say these seals over here the door check rod seal or the door switch seal or even the hinge cover plug is painted i've seen that constantly the only thing that that tells me is that it's a, it was a cheap paint job. And the first thing we see on a car that says it's so-called painted, and I'll, I'll even hear a guy say that they have a show car, um, and you see that stuff painted over, you know, the time was not taken to dismantle the car and take little things even like that off, which is, they're very simple to take off these pieces. 
this is not hard to take off. You pop this little pin out and this rubber, this rubber uh, seal here, the check rod seal comes off. Same here with the door switch seal. One little screw takes that seal out. So, you know, that to me just tells me that it's a, it's a cheaper paint job. Um, and, you know, that might be okay for you, but it's the first thing we see when we go to visit a car. And it's the first thing we see when we get the car, say, delivered to us if we did not see it in person. You know, I can't tell you how many times people call me and say, Chris, I bought a car through the Internet. And it's like it's maybe 50 percent or 60 percent of what the guy said and blah, 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 blah. You know, so just things to be mindful of. I don't think you're ever going to get a car 100 percent the way it's presented in pictures. Pictures are tough, especially with a white car, too. You know, it, it, the white uh, can be hidden a lot in pictures if, if there's any sort of imperfections or discrepancies. But this was a dead giveaway in the picture. Uh, with the paint over painted on the seal here. Now, yes, I know there could be wax or compound there, but that is not, that is paint. So this car was repainted. Um, and to claim that it's absolutely all original, never been painted, um, you know, all right. Maybe he doesn't know that that's quite a, that's a possibility, um, but it's just something for you to be mindful of as a buyer um, as we go through here now. Here's a quick one here. I'm just I'm going to try to move along faster here. But uh, 72 VW Beetle convertible, guys. Everything from 71 onward convertible was Super Beetle, and you can you can see that this is a Super Beetle for sure. Um, maybe this person just doesn't know. Um, she's saying, or whoever this is saying, this is a European model, not a Super Beetle. So, yep. Well. Uh, it's just things to put in your mind, <laughs> you know, when you, when you start asking questions and things like that. So some people can't tell the difference between a super beetle or a standard beetle. That's why it takes, it's good to do homework before you jump in to something. So maybe she just doesn't know, which is okay, but the car does actually look very clean, does look pretty good. So um, that's a later air cleaner, of course, but so anyways. And this is again, it's under, it's not in natural light. It's always good. This is very dark here. Uh, you want to take pictures outside in natural light for buyers. Okay, so here's a 70 here. Very clean car. Good example. Nice pictures. Again, I would have liked wide shots instead of vertical. Seats look good. And this is a good clean example. Now, this is an example of something that just a few years ago you could have found under 10 grand, you know, maybe something like 7,500. 6,500, something like that, eight grand. Um, but now, you know, you're starting to see 70, 68 and later models in the teens and sometimes even matching earlier price of Beatles from earlier times. But that is a very clean car. Um, definitely outdoors. I definitely like that. At least he says clean yellow Beetle, new dual port engine, about 2,000 miles on the car. And it, yeah, it's got a chrome engine there. So new alternator, new cr clutch, pressure plate. You know, the paint job does look good. You can tell that at least seals down here on the apron. And these bumps here are not painted over. A lot of times you see these seals that are also painted over the color of the car. Again, something that you can easily just take out and replace. If you're going to paint your car, pop these out. Um, you know, once you show these painted over, of course, they're going to crack eventually. And, um, you know, then later on, if you want to pop them out and then replace them, you might chip the paint around it. So something to be mindful of. Uh, this is a really nice 67 right here. This, um, this is a really cool car that I would say he's probably definitely in the right price range here. Um, the vehicle has been fully restored from the chassis up by professional body shop. Hundreds of receipts and photos are available documenting the restoration over a period of several months, showing various stages of the rebuild. The 1500 engine has also been rebuilt and runs perfectly. The car and engine are in immaculate condition with 5,500 post rebuild miles included in the rebuild was a complete rewiring of the 12 volt electrical system the price has been lower from the original listing of 23,750 so this is a very clean example of a 67 i love seeing the aprons all clean the latch is not painted the color of the car the seals are not painted the color of the car he's got the correct beading going on here you can tell that the front fenders have probably been replaced if you're privy to this you know that the corn grill is not this far away on an original 67 beetle um, and a lot of times you'll find 67 beetles and i'll show you another, another example of this 
maybe they replace one fender and not the other. Maybe you have one German and then one replacement on the other side, and you'll see the horn grills are mismatched. They're in different locations. Original 67 horn grills should have been closer to the fender bead here, two fingers uh, a distance from the bead to the grill. That's an original fender. Nothing wrong with getting uh, replacement fenders for a 67 beetle. I don't mind that as long as you replace both of them and it matches with the horn grills. That's just my taste. You might not you know, care for that too much. It doesn't matter to you, but to my taste, I don't like seeing a horn grill all the way out here on one fender and then close here on the other fender. But this is a very nice example. It looks like he's got the right rear bumpers as well. He looks like he's got a lot of the correct pieces with the backup lights and whatnot. So rear deck lid, everything looks very nice there. This is a very great example. So this is a perfect example to, to look into. Um, correct black seats, everything looks tastefully done. So that, this car is, is probably worth it for sure. Even the, a good headliner installation is a great, when you see the back window area, that is one of the hardest spots to do. So if you don't see any wrinkles like you don't see here and you see that the tucks are very nice in the back window and over here, that's how you know that installation was probably done very good. Even though now we don't see the rest of the headliner, I'm pretty confident that just because he got this right back here, the rest of the headliner is probably in great shape. So yeah, he's got a retro radio in there, which is fine. It still kind of looks, you know, period. I still am more... You know, I, I do like an original radio that's in the dash. And even if it doesn't work, I like putting an you know, original Sapphire in there. And then you could put a Bluetooth speaker on the shelf or something. Use your phone to get music or put, a, or put a radio in the glove box if you want. But this is a very nice 67. It looks like it's got the, the correct running boards, the correct two-tone rims. This car's worth it. Might be a little deck lid uh, realignment that has to be done here, but that's something that could that could be fixed. Body and paint is huge, guys. If you can get that right first, a lot of the mechanicals can be done later. Um, th this is a very nice car, and I could just even peek into the car. It looks like he's got the right seat upholstery that wraps over the seat. There's no bead that goes across. Very nice. Okay, so then we got another one here. 5000 or you know, $5,500 cheaper, say, than the other one we just saw. And again, 67. Um, I love Java Green. It's very cool. Now, what do we see? Like I just spoke about before. Here's the horn grill here, close to the bead. This is correct for 67. This one is wider, is, is off the bead. And look where the horn grill is. So this fender was changed right off the bat. Seals too, cal seals, there's no chrome in the trim. Does have a nice patina. And again, the seats have the bead up top. So that's how you know the seats have been replaced. Same too, back window, that's been changed. The seal, no chrome in there. It also says VW 1500 on the rear deck, which is interesting because that's usually European. And European models usually have the early headlight, like the Porsche headlight, not the straight headlight. So let's see here. Um, 67 unmolested VW uh, German machine rebuilt engine has 15,000 miles on it. Okay, so the first sentence, 67 unmolested original VW. Second sentence down, rebuilt engine has 15,000 miles on it. So does, I mean... Right there, it's contradicting itself in my eyes. You know, again, this guy probably means well, everything's cool, but you know, I just wanted to point that out to some people. I think that's just something that is a you know, you're you're going against your words right here. So maybe again, um, didn't proofread or just you know, maybe just wrote it up quick. I, I don't know. Uh, but that right there is a dead giveaway that now it's not all original, especially if rebuilt engine 15,000 miles. So car's apron, hood, and lids are solid. No accidents, matching rims, and hubcaps included. Body and paint is in great shape with no dents or rust. Engine and transmission are in great shape. Um, interior is in original condition, which we've pointed out before it is not. Um, and is in original, solid, beautiful condition. Electrical works, no, no issues. Suspension handle, handle sturdy. Comes with the original spare jack. Okay. It looks like a preserved vehicle. I mean, it definitely, you know, but it's not all original, unmolested. Again, that front fender was also changed. So 
And let's see here. Here's another great one. You know, we look uh, 68 auto stick beetle here. They're asking 12.5. I mean, you would have never a couple of years ago never seen that um, kind of pricing with something like this. But the auto stick beetles, I think, are they are rare. Um, why they haven't caught on as far as popularity? Um, maybe it's something to do a video on uh, later on. But they're pretty cool. I mean, my wife keeps telling me, you know, I need I need an auto stick. Those are cool cars, you know, for her, for somebody like that. But um, auto stick transmission has been on for 35 years. That's pretty cool. Cars in good condition with newly installed rear bumper, dash, front and rear mats, windshield, and new seatbelts. It's a great car to tool around in. The car needs some minor cosmetic work. Okay. I think that's a perfect sounding ad. You know, it doesn't state anything outrageous or state anything that uh, you would maybe question. Um, you know, it just sounds like it's something that probably had some work done in its past. And uh, but this is kind of the price ranges that you're seeing, you know, you know, simple cars like this, white with black interior, yellow with black interior, and they're into the mid teens. Same here with a 1970 bug. I love 70 Beetle. It's a cool year, kind of a one year car. Um, and uh, looks looks like an original piece right here. It looks like faded paint. You know, uh, wheels look all kind of rusty here. Um, it's got the right backup lights. The seal is there intact and in black. It's not painted over. It doesn't look like seals here in the jams also look like they're not painted over. So this quite could quite possibly be an original piece for sure. Even the seats look like they are original as well. They must have the amazing Volkswagen smell to it, <laughs> which all makes which makes us uh, kind of warm, fuzzy feeling inside when you see that. Um, yeah, this definitely looks like an original piece for sure. Of course, you want to ask for more pictures. Um, you know, it's it's tough to get undercarriage shots these days. You ask people for undercarriage shots. Um, you definitely want to ask for those uh, as, as best as they can. And I have videos on how to get undercarriage shots. It's, it's really not that difficult, especially in today's day with our technology. With our phones, you can just squat down and point upward and put a flash on and shoot the pan and review the picture. If it's not a good picture, you can take another one. You're not wasting film. So um, no reason why people can't get undercarriage shots for you. If they don't want to give you the undercarriage shots, then that raises a red flag to me that they're either they don't know what the condition is, never saw it and are afraid to uh, disclose the information. So. And then uh, bring a trailer here is one of the sites that has really been gaining a lot of ground. Um, I'm on their alerts and it shows, you know, some amazing pricing for some of the Beatles uh, these days. Um, they show you a graph too, showing like where numbers have gone. If you see, there's a slow, a gradual increase. And I talk about this a lot. You see a lot of gradual cars going up for sale. Uh, I'm sorry, cars going up for sale. And over the years, they gradually go up. There is an incline. I mean, there's one car up here. That's a swim wagon. Oh my God, a 44, 1944, $152,000. Amazing. But there was a 53 uh, Zwitter Beetle that just uh, crossed the block recently and wasn't numbers matching at all. I think the engine was a, a modified engine on it and went for 71000 So you see some pricing here. Look, even a Myers Manx, I think, for $56,000. So this bring a trailer is bringing in some frenzy a lot of times. And uh, there's guys with some big bucks here that are, are willing to bid and bid a good price if they want something. So uh, bring a trailer has, has possibly been one of the sites that is uh, inflating uh, the pricing. For some of these cars so people see what the prices go for on bring a trailer and then they'll list a the car for a high price on samba or craigslist or facebook marketplace you know so uh just one of the reasons why we've seen an increase in uh volkswagen pricing and and german cars in general even the porsches and the buses and the carmen guias and you know everything seems to be going up and yeah going back to the youth it's probably you know, getting out of some of the youth's price uh, price ranges, but there are some, like say a '66 here, that went for under ten grand, ninety three fifty. Um, you might be able to find some. Here's one that a '76 that went for fifty five hundred. So this is another one, a '72 Super Beetle, sixty three oh five. So they are out there. Here's another '68, a red one. This looks like a Mexican Beetle uh, that was possibly retitled. Uh, so eighty one hundred. 8,000 for a dune buggy here. So the possibilities are there to get something under 10 grand. You just have to search hard and you just gotta be patient. No reserve, 23 years, owned 71 Super Beetle, 8,500. So they're out there. Um, you just gotta search hard. 
And then of course you got Facebook Marketplace here. This has gotten very popular. And I think Facebook Marketplace um, is probably stealing the limelight from say Craigslist. So a lot of people would list on Craigslist for years and years. And I think now it's a lot easier. People are living on Facebook now with all sorts of communication, whether it comes to texting or emailing or posting or whatever the case may be, that it's just convenient to stay on one platform and use um, use Facebook to, to market their cars. And so there's a lot of cars here and you can even see stuff under 10 grand for sure that you can pick up. So um, it's still a possibility for a youth to get into the hobby under 10, 10 grand. I would say if you're heading towards like middle, you know, 4,000, 5,000 and under, uh, just be prepared to see rust and be prepared to work on the car. So, uh, so Facebook has been stealing that limelight now. Also Facebook, again, people are shooting vertical pictures and very, I don't know, non-descriptive ads. They quickly put things up there and, you know, it's, you got to ask a lot of questions. Um, Whenever, whenever I ask questions uh, to some of these guys, sometimes I get an answer, sometimes I don't. If I have something up for sale on Facebook, it's, it's all this, you know, pre-programmed responses that Facebook has put up for you. Is the item still available? Is it still available? Is it still available? That's all I get. People are not, I mean, literally not even typing out, uh, you know, a human question. Um, so that's kind of irritating. Everything's more convenience over convenience. Everyone's trying to be, you know, convenient with things. It's just everything's on the fly and it just makes things impersonal. So if you're a serious buyer, be personable to the buyer, to the seller, you know, and, and that makes the seller feel that much better when you're actually trying to communicate uh, for real and not by computer um, words. So very cool here. Um, there's a lot here, this, and this is only a fraction of what where else you can browse. There's Hemmings, of course, and then um, now my website. You know, I have some cars for sale, and then people always ask me, you know, why, why my price is so high. So here's a '66 that we worked on, 37.5, and you know, because I show if you click on my photo galleries, I mean, all my cars that I work on have extensive photo galleries, books, pictures, hundreds of pictures of what we have done to our cars. I don't hide anything. I show it all. And everything is professionally installed. Everything looks, you know, everything lines up right, everything runs, and we go through our inspection with our cars, you know, not to say some of our cars don't come into issues later on, I back it up and I'll fix it. Um, but you know, again, these are 50, 60 year old cars. So um, things are going to happen regardless of how pristine they are restored, you know, the engine blocks, are 50, 60 years old, and you know, they still leave their mark. <laughs> it's very hard to get a beetle that doesn't uh, leak. So, but so I show everything here and how we assemble stuff, guys. And uh, it's kind of peace of mind here of what we do and the quality of what we do. Um, it's reason, so the pricing reflects that. Um, but I've been doing this for, you know, been in the hobby for over 20 years, I've been in the business for 15 years. So I've seen so much, I've seen ads for years and it's, it's just amazing that a lot of the ads that we see, nothing has changed in 20 years. People still kind of put that dealer cap on and I'm sure we're all guilty of it. Uh, whenever we want to sell something, we put that dealer cap on and uh, we're just trying to sell a product. And it's amazing that, you know, the, the, the approach towards selling something, especially now even with the internet, it's again, too much on the fly stuff, quickly put it up, put a few pictures up there, S20, $25,000, and you only got three pictures up and you're not disclosing any other information. So, um, but this is why our prices reflect that. And, you know, I know people will harp on me with, with pricing, but uh, I think I have everything to back that up as to why we do that. Um, and where I've been and my experience. And, um, you know, if anybody has to question my experience, um, it's you just go to my previously sold section, go to the buy a bug section. I have a previously sold section here. You can see all the cars that I've worked on and that we have sold. I mean, it's just the list. The list just keeps going. You know, I have pages upon pages of cars that we have sold, at least 10 pages here. So I've touched hundreds of these things. And I've seen so much of it. So, yep. 
anyways, guys, um, that's the video for today. I'm sorry. I was a little long winded. I just kind of wanted to get this off my chest and talk to you guys about, you know, kind of what to look out for before buying a bug. And, uh, you know, if you guys need any help to find a beetle, of course, I'm here for you. Uh, I got my find a bug program. Again, my find a bug program is here. You can click it on the top bar. It's our find a bug commission program where I can find the car for you. I know what to look out for. Uh, I know how to vet the sellers. I know what pictures to request. I know, you know, what's correct, what's not correct, where the pricing is. Oh, and, and real quick too, I'm going to go to collector car market and we're going to take a look here. I've been going by this site, guys, for over 15 years. It's a very basic site. I think they probably lean more on the conservative side of things, but that's a good thing because then that keeps it in mind for you when you're looking to buy something. So if you go to Volkswagen and say you go to 67, Beetle, and you see their value guides here. So you see, you know, a coupe, uh, number one condition, yeah, is 25.6. And if you have a sunroof, you add 5% to it. I would actually add more than 5% to a sunroof. In my eyes, I think it's more like 15% uh, increase with a sunroof. Um, now, these values will be different from, say, Haggerty or another collector or Kelly Blue Book or something like that, you know, they all kind of change. So get your average out. Some, some sites are way over, I think. Um, but say like if you go to a 70 Beetle. Okay. Now top price, uh, 15 grand for a 70 Beetle. And, you know, we just saw some prices there that were, you know, mid-teens, close to a number one condition. And you can obviously tell that the car is nowhere near in a number one condition probably more between a three and a four so maybe this site needs to update a little bit more or this is still staying true to what the cars go for again people can ask all they want but what the real pricing is is here you know probably what they are going for we never know what they actually go for um unless you're seeing it on ebay or something or bring a trailer but, uh, you know, realistically, I still think that a, a coupe, you know, um, your standard coupe between three and two condition for what we just saw, there was that 70 that with that Yukon yellow, that was really nice. So he's definitely right in the right price range there. And of course, I got the condition guide here. You click that and this opens up and you see what the condition guide is. And I really like this condition guide. I think it's very accurate for how they uh, model this, but Anyways, guys, please be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and uh, we're bringing you VW content like this each and every week. I hope you like that. If there's anything I missed, or I'm sure there is, and if there's anything you want to add to this, you know, please leave it in the comment section below. And again, I was not out here to, uh, to uh, you know, bring down any ad that's up. I just wanted to point that out for both buyer and seller. Some of the things that I pick out when I am surfing the internet trying to find a beetle. So, all right, guys, that's the video for this week and uh, hope to see you next time. Take care. Um.